was with the Washington Tiny House Association, and I got another email here from Alicia who says, uh, to whom it may concern, I am looking to relocate in western Washington to the Bellevue, Renton, Beth, Bothell, or Issaquah area, and I'm seriously considering a tiny house movement. I'd like, prefer to live in a tiny house community, but I'm overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. You are the experts and you have all the time and resources, and I'd like to know where uh, to recommend I start. Um, so Alicia, your question uh, comes in twofold, and that is, uh, I, I'd like to know whether or not you're looking to buy land and start a tiny house community. Uh, it sounds like you just want to find one to live in. Uh, there are not many that are, are started as of yet because November 2020, the uh, state building code standards come into effect. So after that, you'll see local city jurisdictions kind of trickling down um, uh, zoning and different things that they're going to start allowing these tiny house communities to be placed. Right now, uh, I know one in Maple Valley. So if you're in this uh, situation where you're like, should I consider it or not? Um, tiny housing uh, allows for uh, inexpensive home ownership. And I say inexpensive as in under $100,000 uh, normally is the average. And um, you're looking for a place, so you're gonna probably rent a spot um, so like I know one of Ma Maple Valley right now, uh, the problem comes down to uh, people in your scenario usually don't want to pull the trigger really quickly. Um, uh, people that do usually, uh, if you go on YouTube and watch videos, everybody says they, uh, they're very happy they did so. Um, but it, you know, you have to look at your finances and what you can afford. So per se, this spot that's available in the Maple Valley area, uh, kind of in that general vicinity, um, you're going to want to, uh, take a leap of faith, either uh, reserve it now or not reserve it at all. It basically comes down to when you're trying to find land, um, a lot of tiny house people either want to have their home um, in the process of being built before they commit to land, and then they want to move it in, and then they pay their rent. Um, right now, the scenario in Washington State is you have to kind of commit to that piece of land, start paying the rent on it to make sure it's held for when you do have the tiny house, um, which is a co cost uh, you might you paying for nothing basically. But um, in the scenario that we're in right now, you're kind of having to choose uh, what's more important. Do you want your space available when you get your house, or do you want to be in a scenario where you get your house and potentially don't have a spot? Um, it's a, a risk that's going on for a lot of people. So, um, yeah, please feel free to reach out to us if you have any concerns or if you're looking to buy property. Um, I'm really trying to encourage people to look at that scenario because uh, going out and investing in a piece of property is um, something that is uh, never going to be wrong to do. Um, we're probably going to have a real, real estate bubble here soon uh, that the properties will go down cheaper, um, less inexpensive, but you're going to basically be in a scenario where uh, investing in a property uh, that you could potentially build a bigger house on, um, it could give you some assets, some uh, equity. Uh, you could live in the tiny house or upgrade to the bigger house and rent the tiny house out uh, is a good option. Um, also, you can usually qualify easier for like a first time homeowner uh, loan and go and buy a house and put your tiny house there and rent out the main house. Uh, first time homeowner uh, qualifications are that you have to live on the property. It doesn't say you have to live in the house, um, which is a loophole that we found recently. So that might be an option for you as well. Uh, but there are currently no um, specific tiny house communities in that King County, Bellevue, Renton, uh, Bothell, Issaquah area yet. Uh, but they're coming. So 